sisters, daughters and comrades, our struggle in this year of the women suffered some remarkable setbacks. The apartheid regime went out of its way to harass severely the neighboring African countries that shares its borders and even beyond them, killing many innocent lives, maiming others and destroying and causing a lot of damage to their economic achievements. It has tricked Mozambique into signing the so-called non-aggression pact, the Inkomati, and thus temporarily won our ally to its side. The trick that culminated in these unfortunate encounters of our people being captured by the enemy and taken to South Africa in Swaziland and the subsequent removal of large numbers of our people from Swaziland and Mozambique. All these were maneuvers by the enemy to divide the people of Southern Africa. Let us keep our heads up and not lose sight of who in fact the enemy is. We should at this stage mention that the unwavering support given to the liberation struggle by the frontline states during this period was solidarity in its true perspective and solidarity that came at the right time. The frontline states came out more united than ever before and called for no more comatis. With the coming back to power of Ronald Reagan of the United States of America, the warmongering regime in South Africa is sure of even more support in, in its aggression against the neighboring states. Our young students have come out in their thousands in demand for a better education and proper representation. Some schools which have been on boycott since early this year are still empty to date. Most of them are closed. The Indian and colored community in our country have shown their strong rejection to apartheid by boycotting the so-called tri-racial elections. The workers have very successfully used their economic weapon to show how much power lies in their hands. Umkonto Wesizwe, the People's Army, has continued right through the year to strike at the enemy in defense of the people's demands. This year saw uprisings and demonstrations against high rent an increase of bus and other transport fares. All these are an expression 
of what our president described as a combination of political and armed struggle. As usual, more repression ensued. The regime came out in its military force using live bullets against an armed people, both young and old. Many have lost their lives throughout the country. This brings us to the end of today's edition of Dawn Breaks, the revolutionary voice of the African National Congress Women's Section. Coming to you every Thursday evening at half past nine South African time. We broadcast from the external service of Radio Zambia, Lusaka, on shortwave 31 meter bands, 9505 kilohertz. Until next week, Thursday, this is Tintualo Magheza on behalf of the ANC Women's Section saying good night. The struggle continues. Victory is certain.